are you doing? Right now we are going to visit a very important place here in Jaffna. It's called King Sangilian uh, ruins. And it is believed that in this place lived an old King Sangilian, the last king of uh, the kingdom of Jaffna. And this is the statue. This is the statue of, of King, they call it Sankli II or Sankilia. And yeah, he was the last king of Jaffna and he struggled a lot with the Portuguese over the power. He had a great story actually in defending this kingdom and allying with, uh, with some South Indian kingdoms for support. So I think the ruins are that way. So yeah, just keep walking, exploring like a very like uh, the last thing that describes this area in uh, in Jaffna, the time of the kingdom of Jaffna. At that time, Sri Lanka was divided into kingdoms: kingdom of Kandy, kingdom of Jaffna. But Portuguese managed to create like a strong presence in the area, and uh, King Sankilian and Sankilian and uh, or Sankli or and his uh, and the previous kings they used to alliance with the Portuguese sometimes, pay them tributes. Some of these kings also ruled as a puppet. Uh, kings till uh, King Sankilian came and uh, when King Sankilian came actually there was a problem because when the previous king died there were three people who claimed the throne one of them was King Sankilian and King Sankilian he raised an army he massacred his opponents and he took the kingdom for himself and this created a huge unrest but he was close to like at that time at the beginning he had good relations with the portuguese he paid them tribute but the portuguese tried to uh, use this unrest in jaffna just to take over jaffna and start to attack Hinduism and the spread Roman Catholic uh, religion in uh, in the city, and also have a full control over the island because Portuguese loved to to have control over the ports. So when that happened, King Sangilia he started communicating with some Sri Lankan sailors. I forget their names, but. Uh, they were famous of opposing um, the Portuguese and also started building some alliances with the South Indian kingdoms who were at that point also suffering from the Portuguese colonial and uh, what happened is that the Portuguese launched two armies one by the sea and, by, and the other by the land they attacked the kingdom of Jaffna. King Sagilian, he tried to defend, tried to save his kingdom, but with all the advanced Portuguese weapons, their tactics, and of course the unrest that was there in Jaffna, he lost the war. And then the Portuguese took him to Goa. After defeating him, they took him to Goa and in Goa he was executed and uh, that was the end 
of the independent kingdom of Jaffna and at that time only the kingdom of Kandy remained unconquered of course until uh, until the time of the British who attacked that kingdom and controlled over complete Ceylon or Sri Lanka I don't know are we approaching it Many photographers are here in this area for photographing and oh, look at this well Yeah, it's very sad that such an important place in, is in that condition. Hopefully the government of Sri Lanka will take much more care of that place that represents a very important chapter, not only in the history of Jaffna, but also in the history of Sri Lanka and how they struggled against colonialism and how they fought against Portuguese and even when they were defeated but eventually colonialism at some certain point ended Sri Lanka became a republic ruled by Sri Lankans and what is remaining now is this part of the Sri Lankan history and the legacy of King, of King Sangilian who defended not only his, the independence of his people but their way in, in life and their freedom in religion. And one sad thing is that after the Portuguese conquered 
uh, Jaffna, it was reported that the population in Jaffna started decreasing in a very dramatic way. One, because many of many of the, the Jaffna people started moving outside Jaffna, some to central Sri Lanka, other kingdoms, some to South India. And the other thing, because of the taxation, they imposed loads and loads of taxes over Sri Lankan people that their life became very difficult and uh, the birth rate started decreasing dramatically but it also added like everything has had its pros and, 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 and cons of course uh, it created somehow a sort of diversity in the country but um, yeah I can't give a personal opinion about that it's the Sri Lankan history and only Sri Lankans can decide about it but we can't just deny that we are in the presence of a very beautiful place that presents a very beautiful chapter in the Sri Lankan history the kingdom of Jaffna and this was the end of the video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next destination